everyone, hope you're well. So today I'm going to be building, well, to be honest, I'm going to try and be building the Sorting Hat and the Sims 4. And to be honest, I don't even know if the Sims could do this. I tried to build a teacup and yeah, that went shit show. So the Sims wouldn't let me do it, so I scrapped that video. And I'm doing the Sorting Hat instead from obviously Harry Potter. So let me see if I can actually build this in the Sims. I don't even know where to start. Start, start with the walls, so start simple. I already hate it. No, do not. St okay, bloody hell. Is that a wall? Okay, that is a wall. Oh god, I already hate it. He's got like a tip thing here, hasn't he? Right, this is all wrong. I need to start again. I mean, oh god. Oh, this is gonna be a bitch to roof, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna need a bit of imagination from everyone today. I say everyone, like anyone is watching this but me. Fake it till you make it and all that. Oh, this doesn't look like him. Uh. Why do I always think I can build these things? I'm not a good builder. I really should lower my expectations of what I can actually do. I've got like the curve bit right, I think. It's just I can't physically do a circle in The Sims, which really annoys me. Why can't they just bring circles into The Sims and make my life easier? I feel like he needs to be chunkier. He's a bit chunky, isn't he? Hogwarts, Hogwarts, Hoggy, Hoggy, Hogwarts, teach us something, please. Because I clearly don't know how to build and I really need some help with this. Oh. Oh, fuck. That's looking more like it, isn't it? Come on. Is it? Oh, God. I think that's a bit better, to be honest. I know it's not perfect. I just don't know what else I can do to make it better, to be honest. Uh... He's got, like, oval, angry eyes type thing. Oh, God, that's what I'm going for. Okay, we have to keep our expectations low. This is The Sims, remember. I'm going to just try him to my best ability. Oh. Wow, okay. Oh, for fuck's sakes, why do I think I can do these? Honestly, I... Why? What in my brain thought? Yeah, this is gonna be a great video idea. The fuck? I feel like we need, like, angry eyebrows to just show he's angry. <gasps> that is beautiful. I love that. Come on. I'm getting sorting hat vibes from that. You must be as well. Don't lie. Don't lie. To be honest, I think that's the best I'm gonna get. Do I make this bit a little less chunky? Hmm. I think that is beautiful and I've really captured the essence of the sewing hat. Uh, I better save it though because we don't want to lose this masterpiece, do we? If you go really close to it, like that could be a posh house in London, you know? I feel sorry for this house. Right, how am I supposed to make this into rooms? Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna have a bedroom in the back, some sort of bathroom in this weird shape. This is gonna be the living room and then an open planned kitchen. Let, let's just see what I can do. Oh, windows. I always forget bloody windows lately. Right, I'm just gonna shove some in now so I just remember vaguely. Ooh, I kind of like that. That's smart, isn't it? I might go for a modern inside, you know, but bloody hell, that's a big one, isn't it? I mean, it's quite cool being curved and all modern and all that. I love these armchairs so much. Like, they're so cute and round, like me. The egg, the hard boiler. You'll be curling into a ball like a baby chicken and egg. Aww. Ooh, that's fancy, isn't it? Oh my god, I love these little people plant things. Oh no, wait, that, that, that is so bloody cute. Oh, Of all the things to fit on this, it'd be the bloody Star Wars pack. Yeah, of course it would be. Oh, that's such a cute desk. Oh my god, can you tell I've been spending on new Sims packs? My god, that's bloody tall, isn't it? Oh, and it fits there. Not perfectly, but it'll do. It'll do. It looks pretty, doesn't it? Oh, but I bet if I put that there, the Sims will be like, uh, I can't walk through there because there's a bookshelf there and I can't squeeze through because I'm so stupid to do it. Ugh, Sims. What are those little poofy things called that you just sit on but there's no back on them? Oh, I look for them every bloody time. I can never remember what the hell they're called. Here they are, little poofy things. Ooh. That's a nice one. I feel like we need some big, obnoxious piece of art just on this wall here. Oh, should we just have two little buddies? That's so cute. Just chilling there. Bloody hell. Jesus Christ. Where the hell are you supposed to put that? That's the normal size of it. Oh my God. I mean, I said obnoxious, but bloody hell. I mean, that'll do. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. The long sweeping lines remind us of the way that time passes us by. Each line is a past event that will forever have an effect on our daily lives and personalities. It is a constant reminder to be aware of what we do with our lives. Wow, that's deep. Oh, there are 
are smaller bloody versions. I was thinking, why are the others so bloody big? Oh, well, I've done it now that it can stay there. Oh my god, this is such like an awkward shape. Like, what am I supposed to put in the middle here? I need something though. It just looks so empty. Uh, what can I put there? What can I put there? A little like table? I'll just put loads of kid stuff because this could be like the person living here wants to act like they have a really nice modern home. But then there's kids crap absolutely everywhere. Yeah, and then that can fill the blank spaces, yeah. Beautiful. The hell is that? Why would... If my kids started playing... I don't have a kid. If I had a kid and they were playing with the bloody thing like that... Oh my god, that looks like a possessed old doll. And they can have a lump of clay on their desk because I feel like kids put random crap everywhere. Why the hell does this box need so much bloody room? That is a box that wants two metres apart from everyone for sure. But I'm just going to show it there because cheap you know why i don't get what is it with the space ea did you really have to do seven different boxes but are technically different items when all they are is different swatches hmm i mean am i surprised no oh this is cute should you have a kid's desk that close to the fire i mean no but it's the sims you know if you checked out my last build i mean there was kids in that and i left them and paused for a year and everything was a bit of a shit show to be honest although it's quite fun for me i had a great time yeah i think that's good you know clutter absolutely everywhere that your kid has brought and you absolutely love them but you miss the old days where everything was really nice and tidy but you know kids make a mess you know oh and they can have this really annoying violin that they absolutely love to play but it drives the parent up the wall because they're really bad at it but they can't let the kid know that oh and this could be like one of the crappy art projects they made in school and you know like you have to pretend you like it because it's your kids but in reality you're like that's so bloody ugly but i'm just gonna act like i like it because i love you i'm saying this as if i have children i do not i have a niece and nephew therefore i know Right, beautiful. Let's move on to the kitchen and the shape of this just gets really weird from here out, doesn't it? Oh god, how am I gonna do this? Let's just go for white because white helps with the lights and makes small spaces seem big. God, can you tell I've been watching way too many Phil and Kirsty shows? If you don't know who Phil and Kirsty are, they're like a duo that basically sell houses and it's great. Ooh, I like that. God, what am I gonna- What am I supposed to put in that? Like what? What will go in there and look okay? A plant. <gasps> when in doubt in The Sims, shove a plant in there and be beautiful. Stunning. Is it even a Sims house if you don't shove plants in every corner? I don't think it is. Does anyone else always put a kitchen counter there and then delete it for the oven? I always do that and I really don't know why. I mean, they don't have to match, do they? This is quite nice. What is it? It'll do. This whole house is bloody wacky. The last thing you're going to concern yourself with is the bloody kitchen things, aren't you? Should I shove the fridge in this corner and make it like it's not a corner? Oh, yeah, shove the fridge in the corner, make it look like it's not a corner. Fucking hell, I chat some shit sometimes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, beautiful! It fits perfect. I mean, no, but... I wish they made more round tables in The Sims. Like, they're so underrated. Or make them bigger. We've got loads of bloody little ones, but who uses them? I mean, I, wait, I don't, I don't need that many bloody things, do I? Right, what do I shove here? I know this defeats the object of having a round table, but I still quite like that. So we're going to keep that, and then we'll have a little breakfast bar here. I don't know why, but I absolutely love these stools. They look the most uncomfiest thing ever. It was like, does everyone remember in science class when you had those awful bloody stools that you have to sit on and your back would kill and when you'd have double science you'd be sat there for two bloody hours and your bloody your back's just gone it's just gone like my brain is just gone in science oh that's a bloody big one isn't it what is that oh it could literally have an actual cafe in your house i mean why not makes everything easier espresso grind i really wish we had more tea stuff you know just like a boiling kettle that is what i want i don't really do coffee in real life i want a proper kettle is that so hard to ask for i don't think so that is my dream to have a kettle in the sims that bin does not go right they're not allowed to bin sorry oh they need a bloody sink didn't they Oh, how pretty are these? Oh my god, they're beautiful. It might be a little early for Christmas, but I am adding... Oh, <gasps> these fairy lights. I always forget about these fairy lights. Oh, okay, we're having some of them. I've got a bit unhealthy obsession with fairy lights, but I mean... It makes everywhere so pretty, so it's not really bad for you, is it? Uh, what else do we need in here? I think we're pretty much 
done. Does anyone else, if they find something, but they know they want it in the build, but they don't know where they put it, they just put it randomly in the house until they find a place for it. Oh, that's cute. And we'll just shove a plant in the corner for good measure. You know why not? Oh, but not that one. Honestly, the amount of hours I could just spend deciding on which bloody plant to put in the corner. Right, beautiful. I think the kitchen is done. Well, there's not enough room for the kid to have a bedroom. I really didn't think it's true, did I? Damn it, that could have been a bedroom. Right, it's fine. It can be like a baby, although then it's a bit weird that they've got all this stuff. Hmm. They can share a room with their parents, so only a little. They can be like, you know, four. Right, let me do this bathroom. Oh, we're gonna need a bath for the kid, aren't we? Oh, if I put the bath there, can the Sims even use it though? Are they gonna be like, oh, I can't get to it because it's in the corner? Honestly, I swear the Sims just don't want to help me. They just want to be awkward. Why won't the soap go on here? That's so annoying. Why make it if it can't go on top of sinks? I don't really know what else to put in the bathroom. I think it looks pretty okay. I mean, bathroom bore me. I don't really know what to put on here. Probably some. Let's just put another big obnoxious poster, shall we? Like the other one. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that can stay there. Right, let's move on to the weirdest shape of the house which is going to be the bedroom for a parents and a toddler okay oh i need to actually give them another window i'm so bad at giving sims windows there we go they can have two they don't need any up here what the hell am I supposed to put that? Maybe I could fit a toddler bed in this corner? Oh my god, it fits. Yes, fab. Oh god, will a double bed fit? Maybe it'll fit in the corner. Oh, this if this works. Oh, it works. And this can the Sims move over? Oh wait, actually I can put it there. Oh fab. Actually, actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. Right, that's better. Now they get their own room. I mean that oh, it's really small, isn't it? But it's gonna have to do. This really modern house I was envisioning has just not happened has it it's all cool though I, I like it and the bed actually fits this is great god this is the weirdest shape i've ever done and i've built some weird shaped houses but i think this one tops a lot of them oh wait now the kid doesn't have a bloody window damn it i mean do they need a window they got like a baby window oh you're cute there you go you can have a window don't want to spoil them, do we? Oh my god, there's so much room for activities. Right, but now, you know, let's be a kid and shove crap everywhere. Everywhere. My sims go, why not? Putting all this on my walls, I really feel sorry for my parents because when I was younger, Twilight was such a big thing. And literally on the walls behind me, I had three movies, no, four. Wait, was it five? I had five movie-sized posters on the wall and in between the bits where there was space i would cut out little magazine pictures of the cast and put them in between oh my god <laughs> oh they need a bloody cupboard don't they oh yes love it that is stunning oh my god if i was a kid i'd love this room even if it was weird shaped oh is that too much i mean i kind of love it give him an ipad because kids are obsessed with ipads nowadays oh he can have a little night owl that's so cute Ooh, right, but where am I actually going to be able to fit that? Hmm. How cute is that poster? Oh my god, I love that so much. And the little glasses on the dinosaur. <gasps> oh, beautiful. I don't even know what age this kid is, to be honest. I mean, I'm giving him teenage things and toddler things at the same time. But you can be whoever you want to be, can't you? So he can just have everything. Oh, I like that that oh this is super cute i love it oh i haven't done the bloody adults room oh so many choices so little time i mean i say that i've been recording this for like three hours at this point i feel like before they had the kid they would have had this as one big room but then they thought oh we're actually gonna have to put this kid somewhere aren't we oh we need a plant we need to shove a plant somewhere oh we'll shove this big boy in the corner there give them a little telly on the wall you know this is where they get their own piece yes they might have to round their necks a bit to see it but you know what there's only so much i can do in this bloody room right i think that's all they would put in there because they were so sick of the mess everywhere else they can just have a really nice clean room right let me move someone into the shit show a house and i will show you around so here is the beautiful sorting hat and it's all its glory and yes he might look a bit of a mess and yes he might not look like the sorting hat but that's the best i could do in the sim so let's actually have a look inside so if you come through the beautiful doors you come into this really nice actually living room you can tell that it used to be really nice and stylish and then they had kids and everything 
when a bit of a shit show, you know, kids make a lot of mess. This telly is bloody massive, I kind of like it though. Oh, that is definitely a fire hazard, I should move that. Come through here into the hallway, oh, she is playing with the kids' toys, I don't even know what that does. But you come in here into the really cute and cosy kitchen on those fairy lights, that might be a fire hazard as well, but it's super cute. Cupboards that don't match, but you know, oh, that plant, I know it's supposed to be there. <laughs> Cupboards that don't match, but honestly, that's the least of their worries with this house, isn't it? And they got all their uni stuff on the side because they are educational people and the radiator, because why not? <laughs> Come back through it into the very empty hallway because I mean what else could you really put in here? I honestly it'll just make everything look a bit shit. Come into the bathroom. I kind of actually really like this bathroom. I put some washing machines in the corner. I don't normally put them in bathrooms. Back in the hallway and if you go forward, where are we going? We're into the tiny parents bedroom which I had to convert because they had a child. I hate that cupboard so much, but to save me hassle, I put it in the telly and they've got a shoe rack there for them. Very plain and white because everything else is just a bit of a shit show. Then you come into the kids' bedroom and oh my god, I love this kids' bedroom so much. How cool is it? I know it's a really weird shape, but there's so much like everything is going on and that desk oh my god it's beautiful I love it so much but yeah that's the end of the video I hope you enjoyed this weird wacky build I've been building a lot of weird shapes lately it's actually kind of fun so if you want to check out other builds I'll leave them down below in the playlist give this video a like subscribe if you're new and I will see you on the next one soon bye Hogwarts Hogwarts Hoggy Hoggy Hogwarts teach us something please